Welcome to another Minecraft video of me building this amazing trade station that you see right here. Uh, with all these amazing things with the red and the tracks and dirts and all the ducks or chickens, whatever. They they look they really do look like ducks, don't they? Okay. Uh, in the last episode I showed you how to build the Pez dispenser, which is this one right here. Uh, there's only two left. It looks like that chicken might have uh, broken. No, nope, no, nope, didn't really. Still good. Uh, Pez dispenser right here. And the question now is what happens if that Pez dispenser is full? This is the arrivals. Arrivals going to send the cart up here. It's going to come up. It's going to come up. And <gasps> it is so full right now. Right now it's just so full. Look at how full it is. Okay, see? It's full. Put a cart on here and come on boost to get it before it rolls away. Excellent. <gasps> Aha! Somebody sneakily put that in there in the last video. Oh, that was me and I did explain it that's what it was for this is what it's for it's exactly what it's for it's to direct redirect uh, unwanted empty carts when the dispenser is full so it's just gonna take them away somewhere away doesn't matter where as long as they're not back here because if that rolls back here and ends up on the arrivals uh, then when the next person comes and lands on top it's, it's just gonna make a mess so what we need to do now uh, is make some sort of detection system for this puppy. Now, usually I like to put a booster on it at the beginning, mainly because when they bounce, they really don't have a lot of momentum at all. Uh, it's very very small the momentum that they have so in all likelihood I could put a hole right here but it's it's not gonna fall in because if you just lightly push a cart it's just gonna hover and that is exactly what we don't want it's not gonna fall anywhere it's just gonna be annoying so we're gonna just quickly throw together a Pretty lame booster here. Doesn't have to be special. Uh, and that's not going to work on that side. That's going to join. Unless I do that. Nope, still wants to. Okay, plan B. I think it's actually C at this point. No, B. Definitely B. We'll just throw it on the other side. I thought that would happen. I was hoping to make it a little more compact, but I guess not. This is just probably the simplest resetting boosters there is. <laughs> it's it's pretty simple. Now over here, that's where we want our cart to fall, right down there. So at the bottom we're going to put a button, something that can be activated by the cart. Here we're going to put a torch. And we're going to carry this signal all the way, oh, I don't want to break anything, all the way to the top. And right now it's off. So it's telling me there is nothing down there. And if we were to bounce a cart, 
in. Activate the door. Bounced off. And gets boosted. Okay. <laughs> well. Okay. That's my fault for trying to be lazy. And that's what I get. Get back in there. So, if I do that, now it's not going to do what we just saw. Nor am I going to be able to get it. Okay. Let's try that again. Make it a bit more graceful. Whoop. Bounce down. And in on the button. As you can see, the light is now on. That's okay having a status light, I guess. But what we really want is some kind of alarm that will tell people instead of having to look. I mean, they're going to want an audio cue. So, we're going to use this signal and put it on AND gate right here. Just a basic AND gate. What this says is, if both of these signals are on, then this torch right here, you're allowed to transmit. Transmit right onto this note block. But how are we going to make it make noise? Because right now, well, it's not going to do a whole lot gonna build a clock. Now clocks are cool. We're gonna do that, 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 and that. I was gonna burn out real quick. Why is it going off? Oh yeah, because there's a car it's still here. I thought I'd broken it. Right. No car. No alarm. The clock will continue. It's probably the smallest clock I've seen. It's amazing what you can do now with these uh, repeater blocks. And so the repeater block goes around, around, around. And it'll do that forever. Uh, you can make it go faster if you make these smaller, but if you make them too small the system will burn out. Plus, you know, that's still pretty good. So, what's going to happen now is the cart is going to go up boost up there, bounce off the full stack fall in there and there's the sound of the alarm. Ding. 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 If you want to make it more interesting, uh, that's pretty easy too. Just set up an inverter. Uh, and then we'll have alternating block sounds. faster, slower, depending on how urgent you want it to be. Okay, so I've discovered there's some weird sort of quirk that's going on uh, with the repeater blocks and clocks. They work okay now, and if I leave and come back, they'll still work good, but if I leave the game and go back in, the clock stopped, and it won't start up again. Obviously, this is a problem. Uh, I've tried a similar clock in in a multiplayer world and it works fine, 
but in single player it isn't. So to get around this in single player, I guess until they fix the bug, uh, you may just have to put down a regular old uh, five clock generator. So that's made uh, fairly simply. Just a bit of a pain that we can't use these really cool repeater blocks yet. So they're just made up with a bunch of inverters, really. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's a regular clock. Hook it up, and it works the same way. It's a little faster. If you wanted to put a repeater here, you can slow it down. But uh, this seems okay for our purposes. So that's the station. Uh, as you can see, when I relog with this one, it won't break. Gotta love my world naming, huh? Uh, it will pause for a second until the chunk loads properly. But then it will start up again. The same does not happen with the, uh, the repeater block, unfortunately. I don't know why, it just doesn't. So yeah, that's uh, that's the end of my train station video. Uh, let me know how you go on your own stations if you make something like this. Obviously you won't make it like this, uh, because all of this technology, while you know this is good for tutorial purposes, it's not really uh, very good. Uh, what I've done is actually used all of this technology in uh, a much more compact station. Uh, so I managed to change it from this to this. Nice, compact, all hidden under the earth. And all the electronics are hidden. Underneath. Nicely organized. And peaceful. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you make a really good train station, feel free to video reply. Uh, I like to see all the different technologies, and if somebody wants to, uh, you know, give me some advice and add something else new, let me know and I'll see what I can do to implement it. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. Thanks, bye.